Oh, hey. Sorry, didn't see you come in. My name's Jamie, I'm the brand manager here. What can I get you today? Pass Blue Ribbon? Awesome choice. One PBR coming right up. In the meantime, let me give you a little history about the brand. So back in 1842, the Best family immigrated over from Germany to America, settled down in Milwaukee and started a small vinegar works. A couple years later in 1844, they started their own brewery. It was called Best and Company. It consisted of the father and the four sons. Now in 1850, two of the sons decided to leave, start their own brewery. Charles and Renz Best started Plank Road Brewery, which we all know eventually becomes Miller Brewing Company once Frederick Miller gets involved. Now Frederick Pabst hits the scene around 1860 when he meets Maria Best, who is the eldest daughter. A couple years later, they do get married. Now, not until 1888, when Frederick Pabst becomes the sole proprietor of the brewery, does he change the name to Pabst Brewing Company. And it's still located in Milwaukee, still brewing out of there. And if you haven't been there, I definitely recommend seeing it. They've renovated it, and it's an awesome place to visit. From a packaging standpoint, their, their logo is probably one of the most iconic beer icons out there. It's probably one of the few ones you can take the lettering off and leave the blue ribbon and still know what the brand is. Packaging, they carry 18 packs, 12 pack cans, suitcases to 16 ounce cans and of course the beloved Tall Boys. And those are the 24 ounce cans. You can find them at any music venue local dive bar, grocery store chain, independent C stores. The brand is everywhere and they're in everything. In fact, if you pay attention to most of the shows you watch today, you'll see the brand in them. Uh, just saw the Paps Neon and the She-Hulk. If you watch that, it's in the bar she visits. It's also in the movie, The League of Their Own and the TV show. It's also in Venom. Brand is everywhere. But there's something amazing happening this month where Paps is actually the hero of a movie. So at the end of this month, Apple TV Plus is going to show the greatest beer run. It's basically about a guy named Chicky Donahue who goes over to the Vietnam War to the front lines to give his buddies a beer and a t to bring a taste of home to them. About seven years ago, Paps did a documentary on this gentleman and the things he went through to get that beer over there. So it is based on a true story. It's got Zac Efron, Russell Crowe, and the awesome Bill Murray in it. You can't go wrong. It's a Farley movie. If you're not familiar with the Farley brothers, they did something about Mary and Dumb and Dumber. So without further ado, I will let you have a sneak peek at the trailer. But first, I'm gonna take a drink of your beer. Are you ready? What are we doing? We're gonna run for our lives. We're halfway home. Halfway? I'm Chicky Donahue, and I am not supposed to be in Vietnam. Hey, get your ass out of bed, you lazy bum. Look at you, sleeping your life away. Look at these scumbags. You're embarrassing yourself and you're embarrassing your family. Do these protesters not know that our soldiers see that on TV? I'd like to go over to Vietnam, track down all the boys in the neighborhood, and give them a beer. I can do that. Do what? Bring him beer. He's not serious. He's hammered. Look at him. The man's stone sober. That's his fifth beer, maybe. Tops. I'm going to Vietnam and I'm bringing him beer! Yeah! Hey, Chief, no chance you have a ship heading to Vietnam. 1,700 hours. Tonight? It's not going to be easy. But I'm going to show them that this country is still behind them. You're going to get yourself killed over there. It's like you said, everyone's doing something. I'm doing nothing. One morning, I'm Smuggling beer into a war zone. That's not the smartest thing I've ever heard of. It's certainly not the worst either. A new day, a new way. What if you start up here with Collins? <laughs> Just came to deliver a Sudsy thank you card. And then, if you're still alive... You American? New York. Thanks a lot. You can hustle down to Dugan. Ta-da! Oh, I brought you beer. You 
you shouldn't be here. You think this is funny? I'm not doing this for laughs. I'm doing it for all you guys. Come on, time to go. Is it over? Yeah, you're dead. You don't get it, do you, chick? This isn't a John Wayne movie where you know the good guys are and you know the bad guys are. I didn't come all this way just to quit. Somebody's got to be here to see what's going on. I want the truth told for them. They're just kids. You're going to find out it's a lot harder to get out of a war than it is to get into one. I'm trying to show them that somebody back home is still behind them. You got a good heart, Chicky. It's your brains I'm worried about. Who's this hand job? My next door neighbor. He brought me a beer. Hey. Right.